It is a cameo role in a comic opera, but this is the swan song of a very big star. Kiri Takanoa made her debut at London's Royal Opera House 44 years ago. This week, on her 70th birthday, she begins a run of performances that will bring her operatic career to a close. It's a small part, so it's, it's not going to take up too much of my energy except for my knees. My knees don't like the stage at all now. I shouldn't say ever regret, and there's relief, yes. Relief in that the, the pressure is off. You know, it's, it's a very, very um, you know, high energy job. And a lot of it is expected of you. You, you know, you're, you're really expected to do massive, more than you can cope with sometimes. It's not like any other type of singing, is not it? Not really. I mean, if, if, you, if you look at an athlete, you know, he finishes at, what, 35, if, you, if he's lucky. Um, ballerinas finish around that time, and here I am, 70, still, you know, going along. Dame Kiri became a household name when she sang at the wedding of Charles and Diana in 1981 in front of a global TV audience of 750 million. Last year, she appeared in Downton Abbey. Television viewers worldwide, 120 million. Now, there will simply be a full house as she says goodbye, a disarmingly unsentimental diva. I always put it down to a freight train at, great, at high speed that we just kept going and kept going and, and this is getting off time. A small part perhaps, but Dame Kiri will always be remembered as a leading lady. Tim Hewitt, ITV News at the Royal Opera House.